Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Holly, or so in Scottish, and I am here today with a shouting cat. No, <laughs> she was. She was shouting. I am here today with a So Haley Jane luxury box unboxing. Um, thank you to everyone who has watched my videos and subscribed and left comments. Um, I really appreciate it, and I am working my way through them and get back to people. <laughs> It has been a busy wee while, um, being back at uni and um, just getting back into the swing of things. It always takes a wee, a good month or so to get to get used to it again <laughs> um, and I'm definitely not there yet. Um, if I sound out of breath and look all flushed out, um, I am. <laughs> I've just furiously pedalled back up the hill from my little Friday afternoon volunteering gig to get back in time to film an unboxing uh, while there was still daylight. <laughs> so I made it, but I probably should have taken five minutes to compose myself before um, sitting down in front of the camera. But I couldn't because I am so excited to open this month's box. <laughs> I didn't film an unboxing last month because, um, yeah, just the timing was right off receiving my box and I had a lot of things going on at that point, so I just didn't film it. Um, it's not to say I didn't like my box. I loved it. <laughs> um, for those who need a wee reminder, I don't have it to hand on my face, but it was the luxury box fabric last month was a gorgeous Atelier Brunette Viscose Twill um, in their ochre colourway, which I guess is pretty much like this. <laughs> it's not really a good colour for me, um, but I can make it work. Um, and yeah, love the fabric. Love the fat quarters. Uh, definitely my favourite fat quarters in a Hayley, so Hayley Jane box ever, which if you remember were the, the honey themed ones and beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, sorry for missing out the unboxing last month, um, but there were so many that, you know, we're spoiled for choice, aren't we? Okay. I am not going to dwell on this any longer. I'm not hanging about anymore. I'm getting in. Oh! before I just rip into it. Um, boxes are coming like this now, uh, with a new sleeve. It has all your sewing bits on it. Um, and Hayley was saying that it means that your boxes are now completely recyclable or reusable, um, which is great. If you've got a post Christmas presents or things to people, this is a good side box uh, for doing it. breathe. <laughs> I am calm. I'm not calm. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Oh, I've done this the wrong way, guys. I've opened it upside down. Okay. Theme this month, obviously, October. We're going Halloween and it's Hocus Pocus. October 2022. Cat, what is it, darling? Oh, she's there. <laughs> you want to be on the camera? Do you want to come in the box? <laughs> Starved of attention, aren't you, darling? Oh. Okay. Let's see what we've got. How is it possible that in the six years I have been creating these boxes that I haven't done a Halloween themed box? So we're going full Halloween. Awesome. Oh, the luxury boxes have a Visco Shelly uh, from Lady McElroy. Awesome. I'm just going to have a quick scout through the magazine. Wait, I always do my magazine last. Why am I doing it first now? Who am I? This is what happens when I'm flustered. I forget what it is that I do. <laughs> Leave that to last. Oh. Cat, you're gonna want to see this, darling. I've just seen the fat quarters. <laughs> okay, so sweet treat this month. Drumstick lolly. I love the drumstick lollies. Love drumstick lollies. So good. Not sharing. Obviously I'm not sharing. I mean I'm not giving it away. Spiced pumpkin latte. 
in a bag, so it is not a spiced pumpkin last week. Are they? That smells, oh my goodness. That smells amazing. Oh, that's got a proper kick to it, that has. Mmm, delicious. Love them. Have, since the last time I received wax melts in my boxes, I have actually bought an oil burner and I'm getting into the wax melt thing. So, looking forward to using these. <sighs> Fat quarters. This is why I was shouting on my cat. Because they're all cat themed. Oh my goodness. Oh, cat, look at these. You want to look? There's you sitting on my laptop. Sorry. <laughs> Excited. Okay, so this is our first one. Oh my God, it's so cute. Hayley, what have you done? It's so cute. <laughs> so we have the first one, which is your cat. I think that's about to knock something off um, in classic cat fashion. This one's steel of a sausage. This one's Audi's tower. That one's on the laptop. Oh, too cute. Oh, that's nice as well. We've got the little house plant one. Um, I don't think there's any cats on it, but you can see there are little paws and that's got a beautiful turquoise background. Oh, <laughs> okay. You know how I just said that last month's fat quarters were my favourite fat quarters ever? Guys, there's no contest. You've got your pinks with your leaves and um, with your little cat faces. Oh, this, I want a dress in this. And some more leaves and little cats. I really need to find out who made this fabric and um, and buy lots of it. Oh, so cute. And my last one because I get five in the luxury box. Oh, maybe my favourite. So it's got windows, windows with your plants and your little silhouettes of your cats. Oh, they're just incredible. Just incredible. So this is Signs of the Zodiac, and I think this is by Samantha Claridge. Um, you can see it's like a zodiac chart, but instead of your zodiac signs, it's zodiac signs. So you get like a hand holding a, a rosary cutter, hand sewing, <laughs> the little ubiquitous scissors. That's very cute. I'm going to stick that somewhere, somewhere. My thread this month is black. Oh, the pattern. Okay, I think I've heard of this pattern before, but I definitely haven't made it. It's the Size Me Sewing VN blouse, uh, which is a raglan sleeve blouse with what looks like a ruffle going on down the front. Sort of elbow length sleeves. Hmm. We have purposely replaced numerical sizings with symbols to encourage you to measure and not guess. <coughs> okay, so this goes up, a blouse goes up to a bust of 50 and a hip of 53. So yeah, in the size range for this one. It's quite pretty. Um, I always struggle when it's um, drawings and not not pictures so hopefully there are some pictures in the magazine where did I put the magazine <laughs> this is the fabric and it is the Lady McElroy Cobra Corsage I believe is the name of this um, and I have seen this fabric before and eyed it um, it's not usually it's not my usual style, the florals are quite detailed and intense, but I really like that it has these little snakes and bugs and yeah, that just makes it so much more interesting and it is gorgeous. Of course it is because it is a Lady McElroy Escochelli. 
Um, that is beautiful. Loads of drape. Pretty opaque. You can't see much through there, can you? Um, yeah, it's quite a medium scale print, I think. But I, yeah, really like it. The blouse would be nice. I think something like um, the new So Over It pattern, uh, the Nicole dress, which is a, a shirt dress, would look beautiful in that. I'm going on about shirt dresses again. <laughs> a winter shirt dress this time, with something with long sleeves and that drape that you could just, yeah, wear out to a meal or something. Would look nice in that. Um, not sure, really. I'm kind of out of the the habit of thinking about dresses, um, just because the weather is so crap <laughs> and they don't make thick tights thick enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, for a, for a special occasion, I would like that. Hmm. Hmm. So far, thinking something like the Nicole dress. Not sure. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm going to try and find the magazine so I can tell you more about it. Cobra Corsage in Noir by Lady McElroy. The classic and mini boxes have top quality cotton, an abstract print. I think it's got different colourways. Excited to see what they are. A hat. The fat quarters this month are called Curious Cats by Craft Cotton Company. And the wax melts are from Chalk and Cheese Candles. So, the interview is with Samantha, Samantha Claridge. Um, I used to shop in her shop quite a lot, but I'm glad that she hasn't moved away from sewing and things um, completely. So I am interested to see what she's getting up to now. Well, doing artwork by the looks of things. Make of the month is very cute, very, very cute. <laughs> I'm just staring at it and not showing it to you. Useless. Very cute dress. Page turner. Oh, books. Sewing books. Um, I have those two. <laughs> I don't have those two. Three boxes, three makes. Esther had the mini box and has used her cotton poplin to make the Melly Loaf shirt by Dean Doe. Um, beautiful. That's a lovely colour, Ray. Gemma Aha. has made a Lyra dress with a luxury box fabric. That looks very cool. Very Halloween y. Halloween -y. And Laura has made a whole Vera jacket by Megan Nielsen. How cute. So yeah, I guess you can, with the cotton poplin, the options are unlimited, really. Um, and yeah, it is a lovely geometric print that you, that you can't really see in this photo. Um, yeah, what has Tamlin made with the fat quarters? Oh, <laughs> how cute. Fabric pumpkin decorations. They look good, don't they? <laughs> Maker's Gallery this month. Give you a quick flash. It's me. <laughs> Profile. Molly. That is I. Um, yeah. If you want to read all about my sewing journey, um, that is me. This is the Armadale dress. Um, Stellar Armadale dress. This is doing the hair thing. I'm so bad, I always get my hand in my hair when I'm posing. I don't know what else to do with myself or do this one. Hand to the side. <laughs> this is the So Over It Sienna dress um, that I made with the August box. Ah, ah, that's cool. I'm going to read it later, even though I know what I said. 
Perm Picks from the Fold line this month. We've got the Luna Lounge set by Jennifer Long Handmade. The Marnie Blouse and Dress, Tilly and the Buttons. And Everyday Waistcoat by New Craft House, I think that is. Yep, it is New Craft House. A size Me Sewing. Um, yeah. Why are they in? Because Donna is moving to the banks of the River Vienne on Frost. Ah. But no, no pictures of this. I'm going to have to go and um, do the Instagram, the old hashtag Instagram search and see how this looks. Might like it. I like a raglan sleeve. I like the, the feminine details, but it's, yeah, but it's feminine but not fussy, which is the way to my heart, honestly. Um, Hayley's Little Lynx, she's done a Let's Sew the Marnie dress, which I think if you're planning on making the Marnie dress is probably a really good one to, to watch. Um, that's quite an involved pattern with all the pleats and things. Um, very cute. Hmm. Hayley's pattern pick for the cotton fabric in this month, um, this month's box is the Megan Nielsen Dove blouse and she's going to be doing a so long um, coming up. And obviously she's watching Hocus Pocus 2, which I haven't watched yet, but I really love Hocus Pocus 1. That is about my age group. Um, so yeah. That's it guys. Um, yeah, just in time for my other half getting in the door. So I will love and leave you um, and I'm not going to promise that I will have the August uh, sewing makes video up soon but I'll do my best. Um, take care, have a great weekend.